what's going on? It's Mo. It's free game. What's up, y'all? We're back with more free game. We're back with more talks about major decisions. I'm joined by my friend Mo today. How you doing, Mo? What's up, man? What's going on? Today, I'm going to talk to Mo about his major. So, Mo, what's your major, man? Supply chain. Supply chain management. So, supply chain, it really isn't that descriptive about what it is, like, technically. Because I know about supply chain because I took some classes in it. Mm -hmm. But really just tell younger kids, like high school kids, freshmen, people that really haven't gotten to take classes like that, like, what really is supply chain management? Basically, it is exactly what it sounds like, supply chain. Like, how do you get the things that you want? Like, mm -hmm. how do you get a supply to you? Uh, basically, the companies that make the products that you have in your home, yeah. who ships to Walmart, and then you go and get it from Walmart. Yeah. Basically, it's all about, you know, how quick and efficient they can get those products made. And so you learn, like, the interim steps, too. Kind of like, so there's, like, the people that make the stuff and the people that sell the stuff, and then us. You learn, like, the streams in between all exactly. those people, right? Yes. Yeah, so basically, what happens between the producers and the consumers and then the suppliers, so. Okay. Well, that makes sense, and I think I, I, I think that kind of just like sums up really what it is. And mm -hmm. but really, my next question would be: You're in the major right now. You're a senior at Tech now, right? I am. So, what classes do you take in supply chain that are kind of like interesting to you, or even that you would warn kids about that, like, oh, be careful before you take this major. Like, I would just know. You know what I mean? Maybe that one you weren't told about, like you got into a class, you're like, well, this is way harder than I thought it was gonna be, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, most definitely. You know, when you think of supply chain, you're thinking more of like, okay, well, it's about, it's all about making deliveries. So we're gonna be talking about transportation and all this distribution. Yeah. And then they hit you with Excel, Microsoft Excel. Uh -huh. I mean, that's, that's a skill that you should really have. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of that, and um, and I have a class called Global Sourcing, and mm -hmm. we basically just have to know the whole geographical region, of every all around the world, all the countries. And you just have to know the ins and outs, the imports and exports, the limitations of everything. Yeah. So there's a lot of things. So the very first time major, you gotta be ready. So you would tell kids one to if they have Excel in their high school, like look into that. You know what I mean? Like try to get familiar at least with it, so it's not like a brand new idea to exactly. them, right? Like you have BIM, the class BIM. Take that class seriously. What would BIM? Like what is BIM exactly? It's business information uh, management. Okay. Basically, it's basically Excel. So basically Excel. So, okay. I so in high school, and I didn't really take it seriously. So you guys should really focus on that class and the operate at your schools. See, that's what we talk about. Like in high school, these classes like BIM, for example, are free. Like, so you might as well take advantage of it while you're at it because <laughs> at Tech, we're paying 1300 for a class, you know? Exactly. And if you don't do well in it, you might have to take it again and you could have learned a good amount of that information just in a free setting with your friends mm -hmm. at whatever public high school you went to. Even if you're in private school, still just take that seriously and be able to take advantage of it, right? Exactly. So, but we talked about supply chain a little bit. So, really, what jobs are available to people like uh, for you after you graduate? Like, what are the like the routes that most like supply chain managers should go? Most people um, automatically come out uh, wanting to be managers. Whether you want to be a manager of a warehouse or whether you want to work in the office. Mm -hmm. And basically, the office job you mainly focus on like contracts. So, for example, like working for UPS mm -hmm. or FedEx, you know, you'll be making contracts with different trucking companies, okay. trying to figure out how you can ship uh, your products quicker and faster. Okay. Or if you choose to work in the warehouse, basically you want to make sure that you keep your inventory uh, up to date. Um, whenever there's a demand fluctuation, yeah. you can be able to get that out to the suppliers. Yeah. And uh, basically just keep the market healthy. So. Okay. So. And what side are you looking to get into after you graduate? I want to do more of the contract uh, stuff because I don't want to work in a warehouse all day. Mm -hmm. It's very long and uh, uh, stressful hours. I, I like talking to people also, so I want to be an office guy. Got you. So that's kind of like what's important to you because I know you, so I know you like like networking with people and meeting yeah. people and stuff like that. Like it's way easier to connect with people exactly. in the office space where you can kind of be making the sales and transactions and stuff like that, right? Versus having to be stuck in either a cold or hot warehouse. Even like the warehouse money I hear can be even better sometimes yes, because it's jobs that people don't want necessarily. Exactly, it's very, the warehouse is very rewarding, very mm -hmm. beneficial. But uh, it's not always about the money. You, mm -hmm. you have to do what you're comfortable doing. You have to wake yeah. up every morning and want to go to work. Right. Exactly. That's why it's important to choose a major that you really want to do. Yeah. That's very important. I feel that. So we're talking about the money. It's not all about the money, but it's at least a little bit about the money. You know what I'm saying? So I like to ask people, what is like the starting salary, like general range, and then what's it like as you start to 
kind of climb up in the ladder and you start advancing in, in, in like your field or in the business or like, I'm sorry, in the firm that you're in. Mm -hmm. Like, so what's the pay look like for supply chain manager wages? Basically the pay, it, it varies. It can be anywhere from 70K to up to 90K. Starting out? Starting out. Wow. So it's, but you have, but the the catch with that is a lot of stress, a lot of hours. Like mm -hmm. you, can, you can work up to 72 hours a week. Yeah. Sometimes 84. But, um, and it's a very competitive field. Um, supply chain is also uh, is a new major, so it's very attractive to the market. There yeah. are a lot of jobs looking for supply chain majors. Yeah. So there are a lot of jobs, like you can, you can get hired, you just basically got to, you got to apply and be ready. So. Yeah, so that's another thing for you guys to look at is what jobs are hot for you at the time. You know, because when we came into high school, they were telling us don't be petroleum engineering majors, for example, because they thought the oil field or the oil industry wasn't gonna boom, which actually didn't end up happening. There's still a lot of oil jobs out there. Exactly. But for supply chain management or for like computer programming, MIS people and stuff like that, like those jobs are in such high demand right now mm -hmm. that one, to be honest guys, like you don't have to be that good. Like you really don't because there's such a few, like few people that can do these jobs even to a minimal level. Exactly. That if you have like some type of efficiency with it, they're gonna hire you, right? Exactly. So, if you could go back and you were like, first off, did you start in supply chain? Like when you first got came to Texas Tech at 17, 18, were you like, I want to learn how to start, start from producer to consumer and, no. and ship these things? No, 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 no. When I first got here, I wanted to be an engineer. Engineer, okay. And then um, I realized that science was really my strong suit, mm -hmm. so I decided to pursue a uh, business degree. And what made you originally want to do engineering? I'm just kind of curious about I want to do computer science. You want to be a scientist? Because I really like computers and uh -huh. I thought I could be that guy to build computers and do coding. I got you. So you realize that some things are not for you. <laughs> so then I decided to be a marketing major. Okay. I was a marketing major for about two and a half years. Uh -huh. And then I was looking into more different majors with like, you know, better pay and um, just more like options. You know, marketing is too many sales. Like that's that's it. It's very I like I like broad majors, like I got you. Do, uh, multiple things. Uh -huh. So then I heard supply chain and I was like, oh yeah, this is the one. So yeah. That's why I went with it. Guys, like once again, we continue to stress the fact that most people don't start in the major they're going in. So when you go into college, like definitely have an open mind, definitely try new things. Yeah. But at the same time, like that's not necessarily what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. And even if you get a degree in that, it's a very most of my professors don't have an undergrad degree in what they're like teaching right now. You know what I'm saying? Like they have all types of stuff. So I know a lot of you guys out there are really worried about changing your majors and not necessarily graduating in the four years that they stress when you first get into college, but life doesn't work out like that. You know, like you don't have to find out what you guys want to do. Mostly like to talk to people. So he wants to work in the dev side of supply chain management. You know what I mean? Most said he didn't like doing only sales also. So he didn't want to just be a marketing major. So you guys have to really go out there and find out what you like to do and just try it out. So I really want to thank Bo for coming in and talking to us today about yeah. supply chain management. Of course, man. And I really hope you guys have another option to even like look into, maybe invest your time into it a little bit. And who knows, you might find a new career path. So it's been once again, I want to thank Mo and it's been free game, guys. Thank you. Yo!